Oh, where did you get that? Mic check one two one two. Yep. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Scotty got games, and we back with another one, y'all. Over Alan Wake, and I ain't gonna say too much, man. Um, it's been a it's been a couple of days since I last played this play this game. The thing I last left off was just chapter three. Was like ransom. I'm um, trying to. I think I was trying to get out the force. Cause I was getting chased by a uh, policeman, so I'm gonna um, dive right back into it, man. On chapter four, so we'll see what we see what we hitting for. Um, before we hit the, uh, before we, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm a little bit frustrated right now, so so I'm, uh, I'm about to go through this like a breeze. I ain't gonna be. Ain't gonna be no jump scares for me right now. But before we um before we get in this gameplay, make sure you like the uh this um this video. Subscribe if you're new. And we're gonna get right back into it, bro. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported no. kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No. Oh, you're, whoa. You lie. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 Oh. <sighs> Hold on, pause, bro. not gonna you're just not gonna skip past that like you didn't say what you just said so you're telling me his wife has already been gone like the movie she's gone i never see that movie but i know what the movie's about but you're saying he's been through a what is what is, he's going through something like a like a uh I don't know what it is. We're gonna continue. It's it's getting it's getting real. The truth. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Mm. 
Who just walked in? Hey, yo. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. I think that will explain everything I'm this trying to figure out. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. It's except so for the funny. ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Anderson. How the hell you get an elevator in a, in a wooden place? That's now, Alan, from crazy. past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a oh, feeling that shit. everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. You go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Mind all that. It's not the movie she's gone. This is Shutter's Island. But it's not a. I this is an island. It's not an island, but it's a lounge. It's a lounge area for vacation. This man is hallucinating. Like he can't wrap around his head that his his wife is gone. Like if you see that that movie by Leonardo DiCaprio, Shadows Island, you will understand this game right here. You will understand this game right here. Jesus. And he's making up a story as it goes that his his wife has been kidnapped and is being taken away by darkness. So you're telling me throughout the process I've been been in the forest, these dudes is not real. They just a hallucination in my mind. So I'm just playing this out like they real. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. Alan, you better get your get your get your mind right, cause I don't want to play no I don't want to play no um, imaginary imaginary darkness for a book. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your oh. subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. So that's why you've been here for a week. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Hello. Ain't this the? This is. It's a. It's 
thought it was a, I thought it was like a, uh, like a abandoned, uh, abandoned lounge or something. But it's a clinic, and it's and it's look look. Lake the spread view below is us. over the lake. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Harkin obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay focused. Once you accept that, Shut up and listen to journey towards your recovery. You need to learn something. Come along. Let's go inside. What the fuck? What the hell is Barry? Where is Barry? Is he still at the uh at the trailer spot? We didn't we need to know. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt the great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course, yeah. but yeah. it does involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Look at this dude. Are you supposed to be a wannabe Zen master? You look like Austin. Who do you look like, bro? You need to calm down. I'll Judy chop you like Austin Powers' father. Judy chop him. Good plan. Please, this way. Oh, look at this one right here. What's she? What's she? What's she humming about? And look here. You need to back up. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism is killing me. Look at the brothers right here. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called <laughs> Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Yeah, because you're sitting in here. 
So I'm guessing on the right, he's Odin. On the left, he's Thor. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clear. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too went away with words. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Yeah, they make more sense now because they've been through it too. But not hallucinating though. Well, he's the boss. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. No, that's just your head saying things. Saying things, halluc hallucinating things, not admitting that the wife is gone. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hey, Hartman wanted wait. me to write. Why don't you hang with that Hartman? But I figured I should just China. play along for now. It was the room. only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. 
I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn head? Where did he go? Where? Where are you going? Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the Grand Tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> oh, dang. Did they knock on the nurse? It's my Sinclair looked bad. I'm that wasn't love it. Day. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one the of Hartman's goons, she had it yours, Tom. I could get the key from destiny. from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. Come That's where he'd be keeping the them. music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. <laughs> The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party is so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. What she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. So pretty much, this wasn't a, a vacation. This is pretty much uh, like a uh, therapy. We're pretty much therapy just to get him just to get him back in the right mindset to uh start talking to him start writing again because he was how about i say in the writer's block and very frustrated that he's in the writer's block and it takes a writer's block take don't it's it's very hard to get out of out of a writer's block because you never know when it's going to end it might take days weeks months shit years like you never know when you're gonna get out that writer's block you just gotta find it's hard to, to click that that get out of that writer's block and click right back into it so i'm guessing 
his wife was trying to help him get back into the mode of writing again and start talking conversation with her because she felt alone and shit like that i just i i understand why why his wife did that for him just to help him out hartman wasn't happy mod could see it in his eyes he quickly lowered his own he had made a mess of it and he knew it the shame of failure was hard to bear he hadn't expected wake to say he needed more time and he blurted out two days less than wake could ask for to show him who was in charge but that wasn't part of hartman's plan so what was his plan the photo on the wall caught my attention in it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah. He was... So... So it really was like part of an experiment. So he was just tagging along. Yeah, this is all Shutter's Island right here, bro. All Shutter's Island. Barry? Ow! About time! Oh, shit. Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What? What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Oh, where'd you get that? Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, okay, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Is he smiling? Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. I had to find a way out.
get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Time for this.
I'm here! I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there! Man, come Barry, on. I don't have a light. Take this, Al! Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Telling me I gotta walk through this garden? Shut up, Barry. Chill for a bit. Oh, 
This place is, this environment is too big. Calm down. Calm down. 
I see it. That's what I need. To the bags. pages. Brought the poster with you too. Come back soon, son. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Qu'est-ce que tu attends? 